Today we are going to talk about a dungeon build for the Demon Hunter that balances burst damage with mobility. Typically going for full damage builds reduces your mobility, but in this build we are keeping things balanced. Plus we are not using any of the newest essences, so you can start using it right away. Before diving into the skills, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you won't miss any future content. Our first skill is Strafe and we are using 3 different essences with it. The first is an offhand essence that replaces our primary attack with Strafe making it our main damage skill. The second is a main hand essence that makes Strafe launch homing rockets, each dealing damage to nearby enemies. The last essence we are using is a chest essence which is crucial because it extends the duration of Strafe. Thanks to this essence primary attacks restore 1.5% of Strafe's energy. Next we have one of our buff skills, Multi Shot. The first essence we are using here is a main hand one, which empowers our primary attacks for 5 seconds, causing them to fire multi shots and deal damage to enemies. The other essence makes multi shot also launch two homing rockets, each dealing damage. For our third skill we are using Vengeance without any essences. When active, this skill causes our primary attacks to launch two additional shots, Passively it increases our movement speed by 3% for each nearby enemy, stacking up to 10 times. Lastly we have Daring Swing, which provides our mobility. The Helmet Essence we are using increases our movement speed by 30% after using it, and the Pants Essence boosts our attack speed by 19%. Of course we need to choose a primary attack as well, and we are going with Explosive Arrow. Since Strafe replaces our primary attacks, having Explosive Arrow increases our damage output, on top of that, the offhand essence we are using also causes enemies to burn. Now let's talk about set items, which are quite important, and there's a small detail you need to be aware of. For this build we are using 4 pieces of V2s for increased duration of all beneficial effects and increased attack speed. The other 4 pieces are from Seeds of Sown Gold. The 2 piece bonus of this set gradually increases the damage of continually channeled skills against the same enemy, up to a maximum of 30%, which is quite good. After you stop channeling a skill, enemies hit by it take an additional explosion of damage for 30% of the damage dealt to them by that channeled skill. This comes from the 4 piece bonus. In our build, this channeled skill is strafe and to activate the 4 piece bonus you have to stop using it at the right moment before your target dies so you can deal a very high amount of damage at once. Usually that bonus damage goes into the millions. Now let's go over every single legendary item we are using in this build. For the headpiece, we have Hora's Heave Under. Daring Swing also increases your movement speed by 30% for 4.8 seconds. For the chest, we are using Sinful Vigor. Primary attacks restore 1.5% of Strafe's energy. For the shoulders, we have Hailfire. Multishot also launches two homing rockets, each dealing damage. For the pants, we are using Trampled Hope. Daring Swing also increases your attack speed by 19% for 4 seconds. For the first main hand, we are using Fang Spitter. Multi shot now empowers your primary attacks to fire multi shots for a short time. For the second main hand, we have Turmoil. Strafe also launches homing rockets, each dealing damage to a nearby enemy. For the first offhand, we are using Pain Sour. Strafe now fires your primary attacks focused on the nearest enemy. And lastly, for the second offhand, we have Hellbinder. Explosive Arrow also causes enemies to burn for 2 seconds. For Paragon you can use Slinger with Unseen Dynamism, Uncanny, Gifted, Bloodthirst and Superiority. Beyond that there is not much else to mention about this build. For Curse properties you can use 6 pieces of Leshed and you don't need specific legendary gems for this build to work. You can run it with your current setup but if you are looking for advice you can use Berserker's Eye, Trickshot Gem, Pain Clasp, Mother's Lament, Blood Soaked Jade, Bottled Hope, Rolling Consequence and Gloom Cask. I think that covers everything you need to know. If you have questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for tuning in and take care.